Tre gånger världsmästare i trickstötar, sex gånger världsmästare i snoker. Den oefterhärmelige Steve Davis. Steve, always tremendous to see you've won every title there is to win in the, in the world. How much would it mean to you tonight if, if you did actually win this event? Um, well, um, obviously as a three-time winner of the event before, uh, it would be nice to keep the stats up. <laughs> <laughs> when was that? Uh, I won, I think I won the, the inaugural event, um, yeah. and then I won another event, and, and then another event. <laughs> I know that you were putting in some serious time. Yeah. People yeah, were speaking about a couple of minutes a month you were putting into this event. Is that true? Or was it well, over that? the last three years, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, good. <laughs> I, I haven't been practicing so much as thinking about it. I've been doing a lot of thinking about the World Trick Shot Championships, uh, its future, yeah. um, and whether I should actually be in it or not. Uh, but uh, fortunately for me, my best friend and manager, Barry Hearn, is the promoter, right. and he told me I've got to be in it. <laughs> So that's why I'm here. <laughs> Steve Davis, ladies and gentlemen. Ja, knepig kille. Vunnit i Sydafrika två gånger bland annat. That wasn't a trick shot. It's just, I've always fancied doing it. <laughs> It's a pleasure to be here in Colwyn Bay. Uh, only took me five hours to drive up here tonight. <laughs> Where am I? It's a long way, isn't it? It's nice to be in Colwyn Bay, which is um, a lovely part of the country, and uh, it's not twinned with anywhere, Colwyn Bay, although it's got a, a suicide pact with Birkenhead, apparently. <laughs> uh, and after I've done my 15 minutes of trick shots, I'm going to be driving back another five hours. <laughs> so you, you will forgive me if I seem a little morose. Um, but I've had a bad day. And excuse me, Dennis, for stealing this. Um, a bit of a bad day. I had a bit of an argument with a wife. Um, it's over something stupid. Just because I wouldn't open the car door for her. <laughs> I just panicked and swam to the surface. <laughs> Trick shots. Can't live with them. Can't live without them. This is the 14th inaugural Trick Shot World Championship, sponsored by Bogdan Woskowski, <laughs> which is a word that's difficult for the English to say. But you'll be hearing a lot more of Bogdan later as he holds the trophy high. <laughs> the first trick shot. Starting off with a, an easier one to work up to some harder ones. And as you can see with this first shot, it's pretty obvious what's going to happen here. That's it, you've guessed it, even the man at the back clapping. <laughs> going to pop the black in the corner pocket there. Going to strike the cue ball onto that two ball plant there. Second red comes off the side cushion, it's the five ball plant, and that sends the black along the top cushion to about there. And that's as far as I've got with this shot. <laughs> Meanwhile, while that's happening, the cue ball comes off the first red, cannons that red out of the way. <laughs> Not impressed. <laughs> and the black then goes along the top cushion, in off that red into the pocket. A nice easy one to start with, all right? <laughs> these three reds here, and these three reds here, have absolutely nothing whatsoever <laughs> to do with the shot. They are there to confuse you, OK? <laughs> and also, today, the shot looked a lot better. Because obviously, if I tried to explain the shot with these reds not in the way, you'd go, oh, piece of cake. <laughs> Scatter a few reds around. All of a sudden, it looks a lot more difficult. <laughs> Just a little tip for you, that. <laughs> Black corner pocket. Så, Bullseye, första försöket går hem direkt från Steve Davis. Ja, 
love doing that. Don't you just love, love a game of dominoes, don't you? Shuffle them up. Where was I? Oh, yes. Right. Um, th yes, the, the World Tri Trick Shot Championship over the years has, uh, was first played in 1933, I think. Uh, it was the first holding of it. And in those days, it was a, a pretty tight run affair between uh, Joe Davis and Walter Lindrum at the time. And uh, Joe Davis um, potted this very tricky black off the spot to win the World Trick Shot Championship. <laughs> um, <laughs> And then the then trick shots moved on a bit, and, and then somebody decided that perhaps to use some more implements. Where are they? Oh, they're here. So, in the 40s, they started getting a bit more sophisticated, and uh, one of the best shots that was played in the 40s, and a trick shot that is still talked about in schools around the world today, is this one. It requires a couple of cues on the table, and also knowledge of where the pink ball's gone. <laughs> Could be anywhere. Where did Willie not pot it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's nice to see Willie again, isn't it? It's lovely to see him. He's, he's just been looking at himself on the slow motion action replay um, back in the uh, players' room. And um, he said, uh, no, I won't say that. No, I won't go get down there. It's, like, it's a bit personal. Sorry, Will. <laughs> <laughs> no, here we go. A trick shot. I'm going to try and pot the blue, the pink, and the black in three different pockets. Ja, ni som hade ögonen med er, han snodde den ena bollen stoppade ni sin egen ficka. Blå och rosa svart i tre olika fickor. Ja, de var goda trickshots, men de var fantastiska. Moving on to the day's world, there are some fantastic players that play trickshots in the world of nine ball pool. And uh, you'll be seeing a player later on who, who comes from that world, who plays some very sophisticated tricks. But just to give you some idea of how trick shots are, are actually sort of worked out, I thought I'd give you some a, a sort of insight into how the, the trick shot world works. Here's the black over this pocket here. And we know for a fact, through years of playing, this was an early trick shot. Somebody thought, I won't just go for the shot straight away. I'll go for a couple of cushions. And if you hit the ball off two or three cushions like this, Could have popped the black. Right, so that's not, you know, it's all right. I mean, okay, well, fair enough. But let's face it, it's nothing really, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, but if I was to say, oh, well, what I'm going to do is to cut that red in the middle pocket, screw, and then play the same shot of three cushions, you think, well, it's a bit more sort of in, you know, it's a bit more complex and perhaps a little bit more difficult. Oh, well, not for somebody like myself, obviously, but. Um, <laughs> So, I've put the red in the middle of the pocket, screw, screw around, well, three cushions with a bit of side. Now, as you can see, a little bit more difficult, but I'm a professional, obviously. Um, <laughs> now, this is where it gets a bit complicated and it can go wrong as well. <coughs> Somebody also, also worked out that if, if you sort of got a couple of reds just past the middle pocket and not actually did this, that's nothing to do with it, but we have to do that. You may see a lot of the professionals doing this. Uh, and nobody knows why, we just like to do it. Because uh, it looks good. It just, you know, like, sort of authority there, like, that's it, I know what I'm doing. Right? <laughs> so it's somebody worked out that possibly if you, if you put the balls like that, there would possibly be a way of potting three balls in one shot. And that sounds ridiculously complicated, but if I hit this cue ball onto that red, I'm going to send this red down, may go in there, past the, in off the green. This red will be, it will be just grazed across and may double kiss and double into this pocket, and at the same time, send the white ball round off those three cushions and pot the black. Three balls in one shot. Sakta men säkert har Steve difficult. Davis byggt upp svårighetsgraderna. <laughs> Det är samma typ av stöd som... In Colwyn Bay, five hours from home. 
Nu hade de att göra tre bollar i samma stöd. Det var bra nära. Det var bra nära det. I'll settle for that. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I've also got the spots in place. Okay. Just, just so the table doesn't forget. <laughs> I've got a drill with me. <laughs> Another part of this trick shot. While I'm here. Another person who had another idea about trick shots. Um, and I have to get this right because this is quite difficult. It might be all right. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this is why I, I lose it now because it's a pool shot and I'm a snooker player apparently. Although you do see me play a lot of pool on television on Sky, on the hour, every hour. <laughs> they do repeat some of it. People think I'm a snooker. I'm a pool player these days. I play three tournaments a year. But there again, I don't get very far in the snooker world. Wasn't me, was it? Okay. Somebody else had a good idea. Nothing to do with this, but that particular shot. That if, if you set these reds up in this position and hit this red, this red's going to go in there. That red's going to go down in off the green. So it's another part of this trick shot. Roughly. <laughs> What happened there? That went there. Uh, not like that. Where did that miss to? Chaz? Where did that miss to? Went that side, did Chaz? Chaz, uh, cameraman, in action at the World Championships. Chaz has been filming, not necessarily in focus, but has been filming um, <laughs> for a number of years now on the snooker circuit. There's not a shot that the top players have missed that he hasn't captured. <laughs> and laughed about as we've missed it. <laughs> Okay, so that's that shot. Let's try, let's try that one more time now. Right, roughly, okay, right, so I can settle for that. So, two parts of that shot, but what happens if you put them together? Chaos. <laughs> and embarrassment. So what I'm going to try and do is to pot, we'll change that for a red, Five, six reds in one shot. <laughs> um, oh, sorry. How many will you settle for? <laughs> Two. Two. <laughs> I'll settle for four. Okay. Uh, six röda i en stöt. Maximum uppdelning på vilket jag tror på två möjligen till dig. Så är jag nöjd med fyra. This one also goes in off in the middle pocket. That one goes in there, that one goes down there, that one goes to the white ball three cushions pot that red. Ja, piece of cake. Ni hängde med va? Slightly delayed applause from the gentleman at the back there. Here we go. Ooh. Right. Probably a bit. Four. Four rather. You got three minutes, Steve. So don't forget that one, will you? Can I have got a volunteer? Just got a volunteer. Yeah, yeah, young lad. Yeah, could could come here, can you? Thanks. Oh. Cheers, Pat. Thank you. Ja, vad ska man säga? Jag tycker nog att det ännu så länge så står det här mellan Dominic Dale och Cliff Sorber. Vad är din namn? Alad, kom här nu, mate. Oh. Tjena. Gör oss en favor, mate. Kan du ge oss en kog och en kopp av bröd? Hurry up, jag har bara två minuter. Do me a favour with this shot. Come and help me with this shot. It's a trick shot Alad's going to play. <laughs> what Alad's going to do, he's going to pop the pint glass in the middle pocket. Not a shot probably you've seen a lot. The only player who used to do it on a circuit was Bill Werbenick. What, what you do is just with your finger, right, it's a pint glass. You can take your hands out of your pocket for this shot, right? Just want you to roll that. We've got to use a bit of judgment. Just roll that pint glass, just forward. Don't push it, just roll it. Get it rolling, okay? 
give it a roll. We're going to, we're going to try and put it in the, just roll it like that, yeah? But quite firm, so it reaches it round, goes round in a circle. Look, look, like that, yeah? Okay, right. <laughs> give it a roll. Don't push it, don't make it slide, just roll it. Get a feel of it. Yeah, okay, fair enough. A bit nervous. Firmer, so it gets round here. Okay. Give it a bit more of a roll. Yeah, okay, fair enough. You pushed it a bit there, just get it, get it rolling, get it rolling forward. That's nice. Oh, a bit more than that. Go have another go, because honestly, we've got all the time in the world. I don't really care. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad, but we'll get there. Okay, one more time, because they can edit it completely. You won't look a complete idiot. No, it's not. <laughs> right, do it again, do it again. <coughs> but don't push it, just got to roll it. Get it rolling like that, yeah? Use your more than one hand, that's it. Oh, we get there in the end, I tell you what. Honestly, this is going to go, it'll only be great when it happens. <laughs> it might not be for you, but it will be for me. Right, go on now. Give it a roll, roll it with more. Now you just pushed it a bit more, just roll it, run. Wait a minute. Roll, roll. No, you pushed. Right. Like, like, it's got to be like that. You've got to roll it like that, yeah? Roll. That's nice. Oh, God, we could be here all bloody night, you. Right. You're useless at this. Right, I have one more go, because I'm running out of time. And honestly, if I don't come to Stone Bogger's last after this, it'll be. That's perfect. Oh. Well, thanks very much, Alan. We've been all night long there. Thanks very much. Ja, lilla Allan är nästan i bitar och skrattar och går tillbaka här. I mean, like the three judges, they're just waiting there just to judge me down, but I don't mind. One of the judges, Jim, from, uh, the, from the local weekly news, Jim? 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 Sorry? Tim. Jim. Jim. Tim. Tim. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Jim, um, who, who apparently on his holidays uh, likes to go to uh, Barbados and, and, and the far, um, over that area, uh, but um, his boss told him he had to come here to mark the trick shots um, instead of going out to watch the cricket in Jamaica at the moment, so... <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we're going to leave Steve to it. Give a big round of applause. Steve Davis, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, han har fastnat vid det här med ölglaset. Och där är han. Det är Steve Davis, mina damer och herrar. Sex gånger världsmästare när det verkligen gäller i Snoke. Ja, titta till slut, jajamensan.